Mark Schmidt, owner of BizStream. So what I do from day to day is really deal with the customer and uh, work with them on finding the right solution that fits their budget. One of the things we did recently is we had a customer come to us and say they want a website and they want to know how much it costs. Well, that could mean a lot of things. A website could cost $10,000 and it could cost a million dollars. So we need to figure out what does that website do. Uh, so I started asking them. The, the thing that they wanted is they really wanted a kind of a, a Facebook website. The one difference that they have is the members of the website are of the same school. So the only people you are ever going to see in that social network are people that you actually go to school with. So again, they wanted to know what the price was. So that, I got a little further. I know they want a social media website. And now, now it's up to me to come up with a whole lot of questions and kind of figure out what that means and what, what kind of costs are involved for them. So my question to you is, how would you solve that? So some of the questions I'll start asking the client are, uh, one, I know they want to know what price it is, but to get it down really quick is I ask them what their budget is. So if I know their budget's $50,000 or $100,000, I know we have a, a limited scope of what kind of features we can do. So after that, you know, some of the other questions we'll ask are, you know, does this site need to be responsive? Does it need to work on a mobile mobile phone? Does it need to work on tablet? Does it need to work on desktop? So we ask those types of questions. Maybe, uh, you know, does the website have a kind of a, a non-logged in, a public area to the website? So you got the logged in area. Obviously you see, you know, your friends and all that stuff. Um, but what about the non-logged in area? What kind of pages are involved there? Um, then also, now we get into the logged in area. How, you know, what are the different features? You got a friends list, you got this, you got that. Um, you got your kind of wall or your feed. Um, you know, just really asking them maybe provide samples of other websites that they want us to, to look at, what features they like, what features they don't like. That helps us quickly get an idea of what they're looking for. Um, uh, you know, does it have maybe an e-commerce area? Can they buy things? Um, maybe like a school store where they can buy shirts and water bottles with your, uh, your mascot logo on it. Um, and just really just you go down the whole trail of all the possible features. And, and really, you know, it's not an exact list of questions. It's depending on how they answer this question, I might answer these three questions. So maybe a good idea would be to get in groups pretend someone's the client and they have an idea for a website and then somebody's the uh, website developer and, and depending on what answers happen, you answer, you ask different questions. Mm -hmm.